Let me see their thoughts. Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'll just give you uh, an update of what's been going on, what's sold, a few sales, um, plan for today, um, and a few additions for the shop. I'll start with that. Um, I bought um, a guy off Gumtree. Um, he was selling... Uh, what was it? Three hundred odd, three, about three hundred and fifty CDs for a hundred pounds. Now, normally I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole, not at all. It works out it was about twenty seven p a, uh, a CD, but because I've got a bricks and mortar, the shop, I can make money out of that, and um, and it was good stuff. Um, so it was all these boxes, box there, box there, yeah, box down there, um, and it's all sort of um, albums and singles, Doves, Whitney's Greatest Hits, Sex Express, Miss Dynamite, Prodigy album, Eminem, Placebo. Um, and I'm thinking, like, in the shop, you know, a quid for a single. I don't think the singles will sell. I might be surprised. I don't know. But I needed some CDs. And um, just to compliment, really, it's going to be a music shop. I need to have a an array of music. Sinead O'Connor. Spart. No, The Farm. Charlatans, Moby, Jesse, Felix, these are singles, Charlatans, um, yeah so it's all relevant, it's all um, sort of 90s, um, there's no, what's this, Seal, The Beach, Rosella, Saint Etienne, Rest of development. Not sure. K okay, class. These are singles. There's a mixture of singles and albums, but the albums are good. Um, so I'm pretty um, confident that, you know, even at 50 pence, I'm still going to double my money. Um, and it's just good to have some, you know, selection of CDs and it's, um, it's quality stuff. Um, also, I bought a, um, a monitor for, because um, I want to have a better computer set, set up at the shop, a faster one, because my current laptop is a bit slow. Um, so yeah, that's the new additions there, stock and equipment. Um, I had a return, and this guy really annoyed me. First of all, no contact at all just leaves a negative I thought like, what uh, the negative comment said something like cancelled item didn't refund something like that but that was the first time of the guy even I knew there was a, an issue or anything so he, he kind of got off on the bad the wrong foot straight away because now the negatives there I've got nothing to lose if, as far as I'm concerned the, you know, so the deal's done. Yeah, he could revise it, but the kind of person that I was dealing with, it's not going to happen. He'd send me like four messages about the same thing. Um, so the reason for the return, um, it was item that I was described. It was a bread maker. Uh, and, uh, it was forty four ninety nine. Now, in the description, it, it's not in a. a that's all right. Uh, the outside's not bad either. Uh, in inside, there's marks, and he said it was mold. It's not mold. It's just like staining from cooking bread. <laughs> it's a bloody bread maker. Um, there was a picture of that. When he got it, he sent me the same picture back and said, "I can't believe you're selling this." I was like, "I can't believe you bought it." <laughs> the pictures are on the item for you to check the listing 
um, and make a decision whether you want to buy it or not. The, that customer didn't do that. So it opened a return. Um, so I had to s upload a, a label and send it. So it's cost me £7 postage and a £44.99 return, which I've refunded. Now it's back. Um, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just relist it and put in the comments like, Make sure you read the description and check the pictures. It works. It does what it says it does. It's not mold. It's just um, rust and general usage of a bread maker. I don't know. I've never had a bread maker. Um, so after me having a little, no, I didn't moan. After me saying I had a bad day, I had a twenty pound day. The day I made that video, I had a £400 day. So, it, like I said, it swings and roundabouts. Um, you've got to check your average over a month, even three months. Check what your average is. Don't go off your daily because it is up and down. But yeah, £300. I had a £300 sale. Um, it was Saturday night. I feel the air is getting hot. Now, Saturday night, um, you know when you know when you get a multiple sale and your phone just goes ka ching ka ching ka ching ka ching ka ching I was like what is that I was expecting it to be records because that happens quite often where people people buy like a stack of records but no it was um, Gundam figures now I'd never heard of Gundam figures and uh, it's like an anime Japanese filmy cartoon but they've, they've turned it into figures which you can build yourself. Um, I bought them last year, 250 quid. And I bought about 30 figures for 250. It worked out to be seven pound a figure, something like that. Um, and a guy bought six figures um, for 300 pound. You know, didn't message for a discount, didn't want, you know, just look, bang, buy them all, have it. So, yeah, really good. Um, I'll put them up. I'll put all six on the screen so you can see what's sold. I mean, one of them is a hundred quid. When I come to list, when I come to um, packing and wrapping them, because there's there's such tiny little pieces, um, and I've they've been moved from the house to the unit to the shop. There was some of them weren't exactly how they were advertised. Like there was one guy missing like a piece of his head. Like a little tiny piece, but it wasn't there. And the one other guy um, had the wrong gun. He had a gun, but it was the wrong one. It was, too, it was a bit small. I messaged him saying, look, um, this is what's happened. It's not exactly how I've described it on a couple of figures, but um, I'm willing to send a figure up to the value, another figure in the store up to the value of 40 quid, just to compensate. Um, I mean, a 300 pound sale, I mean, it's still it's still good but he messaged me back like a day later saying no i'm happy with um what you've sent so that's fine so yeah fine package that off and send that out um i also sold us some ski boots so that was a 40 pound sale that was saturday as well so yeah um with records and other bits and pieces um 40 quid um also i've sold this book now if anyone is I don't know what age would you be about my age I'd say about 30 38 uh, not 30 <laughs> I'm 38 but um, back in the day I used to go to the library to get these it was the only real place you could get them before the internet <laughs> and um, these are fighting fantasy adventure books um and what you do you make your de you make your decision throughout the book and it's like a role playing um game so like as an example you, this one's saying 161 one, one. you leave the giant's clearing and continue your journey which way will you travel north south and west and what you do if you want to go north you turn to number 92 which is so if i took this decision to go to 92, I'm going north. 
Where are you? No. And what the path leads northward and gradually upward, the ground around you is somewhat drier. The swamp trees have been replaced by a deep forest. This is a clear in 11. If you've been here before, turn to 108. If you've not been here before, keep reading. Uh, so what's happened is we've been watched by two huge wolves. So we've got to fight them. So yeah. Now some of these books go for big money. Um, this is game book eight. And they go up to around right about 150 odd. Um, Steve Jackson and Ian Livingstone. Um, and they come as like a set. Um, I'll put some of the... Um, the recently sold higher higher end items up. I think I've done that in the past, but if you can find them, they're really good. Um, real real big money in them. The last I had a stack of them, and I think I sold as that was a couple of years ago. I think I sold a big set of them for like two hundred and fifty quid to Australia. Um, but there's quite a few there. But some of the um, some of them are, are like nearly hundred quid just for one book. Um, <clears throat> what else? Sold some records. So you know what this means. See, so now I've started this, I can't really stop it. Uh, the first one was uh, Overmaster Rhythm. Um, never heard of it before. But if you want to jump over to my Instagram, I'll put all the records that I've sold. As per usual, this one goes something like... Uh, next one was... Let me stop it. Tony DeVitt. Tony DeVitt? Tony DeVitt. Um, what's it called? Tony DeVitt, do what you want. Um, Tony DeVitt was a hard house DJ who died, unfortunately. Um... It back in 2000 so if you do have any records make sure or you've got a mix and it's got Tony DeVitt mix in it make sure you put it in the, the uh, title because um, because he's like a well sought after hard house DJ um, people do look for his stuff and some of his stuff is pretty hot more higher than others like it's 20 quid for so a couple of records and 20 pound but yeah worth looking out for oh and it's just a just a hard house track uh, next up is 7-inch. Um, I don't have, I don't sell many 7-inches, but some of them are worth selling. Um, this one's a picture disc, Madonna Fever. Um, I picked this up. It was a st stack. A collector was selling uh, his dad's collection of Madonna. Um, it was £130, probably for about 130 records. <coughs> this is a limited edition, this one. Um, one, two, one thousand two, no. 12,300 uh, numbered. This was 20 quid. That record deal that I'd done with a guy, it wasn't, it was only local um, last year. It's probably the best record record deal I've done. Um, some of the Madonna stuff is pretty expensive. Um, I've sold a couple of albums for 100 quid a piece. Um, but yeah, this one's Madonna. Fever in the morning, fever all through the day. Um, the last one for today, Cisco the Fung Song. <coughs> Now, I've got a feeling that um, people are watching these videos and buying stuff just so I'll sing it. Um, <laughs> this is I've had this for a couple of years. You've got to know what the thong song sounds like. With that butt sauce, getting the list, so you know your motherfucking good and handle it. And you're shaking that thing like a hooli fish, and you're looking your ass so devilish. Ah, oh. checking in the hip hop spots, move to the good to the get the dots. Let's go through the lives of the lives. Leaving that vida loca, she had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Guys like what? Well, oh, baby, me, you but, but, but. I think I'm singing again. She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Guys like, what, 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 all night long. Let me see that thong. Baby, that thong, 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 thong. I like it when the beat goes. Let me shake your booty, girl. That thong, 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 thong. So, enough of that then. Um, task for today. Uh, I want to get all this moved out of the shop now i want to move it into the back so i'm gonna pack it up pack it in let me begin i'm gonna pack it up um i move it into the back and then 
start making this look like a record store? I mean, obviously, I'm going to have a lot of time now because we are in a full lockdown. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. I'll do it and come back. Quick update. So, two, day, two tables down. So, regaining some space. Struggling with this. I've put some of these on Facebook. No. 20 quid for a set. So we get on with them. Um, yeah, so that is going all into the back. And I've sold some pom-poms. Sent some pump. Right, I'm done for the day. Two tables down, condensed. And I'll show you what the back looks like. Clear the back up a little bit. So it's all boxed up. Uh, it's probably going to be for the car boot season. No? So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye. I've had to uh, stop selling these, unfortunately. It's tier two. <laughs>